What's up YouTube, this is Prince with ATP 101 and I wanted to make a video showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 for iPhone 4. This is only for iPhone 4 because this geek snow that we're going to use to jailbreak it, it utilizes the Lime Rain exploit founded by GeoHot back in the day and this only works for iPhone 4 because it's a hardware um, exploit and the only way Apple could have fixed it was release new device and that's what these are the iPhone 5s and 5 and all those new devices so it doesn't work for those so I'm gonna show you guys that I'm on 7.1.1 and this is my iPhone 4 about there it is right there 7.1.1 and things we're gonna need is Geek Snow which is right here links to that will be in the description and also JDK so basically you're gonna go to Google and type in JDK right, right here and then you're gonna download this one Java SE Development Kit 7 when you download when you click on that it's gonna take you to this page and you're gonna scroll down to Windows x86 that's the one you need to download doesn't matter if you're on 86 bit I mean 84 bit I'm um, 64 bit and 32 bit download the 86 uh, version and then the click accept and then download that run it you'll be good let's exit off of that we're gonna open up Geek Snow and, and, and run as administrator and you're gonna see it right here it says jailbreak we're gonna click jailbreak we're gonna click OK it says to put our device in DFU mode so let's do that we're gonna be holding the power and home button for 10 seconds and then release the power button and keep holding on to the home button for another 10 seconds so here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten release the power button keep holding on to the home button just like that for another 10 seconds or until you see mm -hmm. there you go once you hear that ding then we're gonna close out iTunes and there you go you see it's exploiting right here that's what you need to do guys just let it run guys this could take some time this could take some time so this video could be real long I'm gonna try to cut out some of it but it could take some time and these are all the programs just let everything run just like that and once you get to like halfway we're gonna have to put it in um, DFU mode again but this program right here Geek Snow will tell us all we need to do it will give us walk it will just give us instructions right through to get us to get Cydia and everything up and running so I'll come back whenever we gotta put it in DFU mode again so let's let it run and it'll give you the walkthrough you can see over here see everything is going fine so I'll come back whenever we go into DFU mode again so now we got the Apple logo so everything is moving along smoothly you can see all the exploits being successful over here so I'll be back again. So right now it says put your device in DFU mode. So it's gonna be the power on home for 10 seconds again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release, keep holding on to the home button for another ten seconds. Now you will hear that ding. There you go. Now you see it's moving along nicely. Booting with open snow. And again, guys, this is only for iPhone 4 because this utilizes the Lime Rain exploit founded by GeoHot back in the day. There we go. Waiting for device to be ready. This will take a lot. Okay. 
That's what I'm, I'm just reading right here. Get a vibration. Waiting for the device to be ready. So basically, we're just waiting. There we go. Slide to unlock. Right there. Okay, guys, now it has been rebooted. So now what you want to put your device in DFU mode to continue. So we're going to put in DFU mode for the third time. So it's going to be power on home for 10. Just like that until you hear the ding. Hold it for a little bit more. Release. Keep holding on to the home button. And there it goes. Booting up. You can see it right here. There we go. And see the first time when you boot up, um, Cydia wasn't on the device. So now everything is working to get Cydia up and running. Mm -hmm. And right here, guys, it said it's a semi untethered jailbreak. That means every time you turn your device off, you would have to um, hook it up back to your computer and do the just boot process to get Cydia up and running again. So this is a semi tether or semi untethered jailbreak. Every time you turn off your device, reboot your device, you would have to hook it up back to the program and run it for Cydia or certain programs to start working mm -hmm. again. So this is not an untethered jailbreak, this is a semi tether. So now it says we're done. So let's have the device boot up and we see what we got. Just heard the vibration. Should be booting up to our lock screen right now. Just like that. Let's give it a couple seconds before we slide to unlock. Trust. And there's Cydia right there. Just like that, guys. Cydia on my iPhone 4 running on 7.1. I'm going to open it. And it's going to be basically pulling all the all the um all the repos and everything for the first couple of minutes so this could take a while so i'm gonna come back after the fire prepare system is done okay guys now the fire prepare system is done so let's see let's slide to unlock open up cydia and see this should be running user done There we go, guys. That's the iPhone 3, 7.1.1, City of 1.1.9. So there you go, guys. That's all your jailbreak, your iPhone 4 running on 7.1.1. So if you got an iPhone 5 or all the other new new devices on 7.0.6 and you want to jailbreak it like this one, see, I got my device all hooked up. If you want to know some cool stuff you, that you could do with your um, devices, guys, the links will be in the description to jailbreak your iPhone 5S and some tweaks that you could trick out your device just like mine you see mine right here got five across a whole bunch of stuff all that stuff will be linked in the description below and thank you guys for watching and if this video helped you out at all please subscribe and like and share the video if possible i mean show some show some love and the sprint today tp 101 rate comment and definitely subscribe for more videos like this peace thanks for watching